there thought you could use something other than a floating head to introduce this next review. It's going to be quick and simple, hopefully. So take it away, Sailor P. Thanks, McKnight. So let's get into this, Sailor Scouts. Uh, first and foremost, I still want more and more high screen time. Because more high was barely even in this episode. But I digress. I'm glad to see that Moroku and Sango are doing okay. But I don't know about y'all, but when I first seen Moroku in the first few scenes, I saw like a bit of not only like determination, but a little bit of guilt. Like Moroku is like guilty or something. And it could be have something to do with Inuyasha and Shoshomaru. Or it could be guilt over why we didn't see the other twin sister. You know, because we, we still don't know why, you know, like, Hisui got an issue with Moroku, to be perfectly honest. So, it could be, I mean, I don't know. It just felt like Moroku only is trying to train to fix something. You know what I'm saying? Not just with his family, but what what happened to Inuyasha and Shishomaru is what I feel like. And like, I don't know, it seems like a running gag that everybody hates their parents. <laughs> and then, you know what um, Setsuna's demon hand? I thought it was gonna be a bit more scary, but it didn't scare me. I was just like, oh, well, <laughs> she got her demon powers. But I'm still wondering what happened to the other sister, though. Is she becoming a priestess or is she a demon slayer, too? So many questions. So little time. It looks like she made it through. Well, we'll see you guys next time in the next review. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy it. Bye-bye.